They gave us an exclusive picture of the cast for the final season of Game of Thrones, and oh boy, does Entertainment Weekly know exactly what we want. Before we begin this video, warning, there are spoilers for the final season of Game of Thrones in this video. Please don't watch if you're trying to stay spoiler free. Seriously, don't do it. Okay, let's talk about the sexy new cast photo that Entertainment Weekly put out for the final season of Game of Thrones. Yeah, I'm going to spend this entire video talking about one promotional picture. I enjoyed it way too much too, so that's worrying. First, if you're wondering about the background, it is of course King's Landing. Even better, it is the King's Landing set they built so they could destroy it this season. Yeah, they needed to build King's Landing because of the massive damage they knew they needed to inflict on it. I am so beyond excited for this. If you followed leaks, you may remember seeing that red wall as it was transformed and after battle damage was done to it. You may also remember the excessive amount of Lannister banners seen in this picture that were on that King's Landing set that definitely weren't compensating for any insecurity Cersei may have. And then disappeared post the city looking absolutely wrecked. Seriously, I cannot wait for the total devastation to King's Landing in the final season. Okay, so with that out of the way, now let's talk about the actual characters in the photo and speculate just absolutely recklessly about them. I have the shiniest tinfoil hat on at all times. So we see people generally grouped how we would expect them to be grouped, so let's start left to right. First, we have Varys with his hand on Jorah's shoulder, which is a bit weird. I guess they have been working together since the beginning of the show, so maybe they're hooking back up after a few seasons of a break from each other? I mean, they both serve Danny, so that makes sense. Ferris looks like he's mid giving Jorah a peck on the cheek though, or as would be expected, he's whispering some piece of information to him. From the final season teasers we've seen, we know that Varys will be hanging out around Winterfell, observing and making sure everything is going as, well, well as it can be given the current state of affairs. Personally, I can't imagine Varys dying in this final season, and I think he's going to stay around to serve what is left of the realm as best as he can. Next to them, we have Grey Worm and Masande looking like they are embracing. I know there are certainly Grey Worm Masande shippers out there, and that's great that they found romance, but honestly, I don't care about them together. We all know one of them has to die this season because D&D feast on our tears, and because Grey Worm is the obvious to die in battle, I think Masande getting shanked by a white would be a bit more fun. I do enjoy the couples in this photo embracing though. It is nice in a way. Speaking of shipping and embracing, next we have Danny and John looking all in love because life is horrible. Just absolutely fucking awful. Danny's outfit is similar to last season and the other promo photos we got. I like the extra red in her winter outfit. The red gloves and black are of course for her Targaryen colors and it's funny how dark most characters outfits are at this point and then we have her in a lot of white. I'm really hoping this isn't symbolism in just Danny's winter line. Oh boy and look at how super possessive she is with her hand on John. Calm it down. You already got the D. Which is probably why she has that smug smile on her face. John just looks as mopey as ever, even though he has effectively tagged two of the hottest women in Game of Thrones at this point. Actually, I love how in other promo photos, Danny looks so smug and John still looks more somber. I don't want to read into Kit saying Egret will always be the woman that made John happiest because then I have to endure millions of comments informing everyone that did you know Kit and Rose are married? And because of that, that's why he said that? That's a fucking stupid reason. I still think Danny is much more in love with John than John is with her though. I really like that Danny and John aren't center in this photo despite them being two of the main characters and John essentially being the song of ice and fire. I could look more into that, but let's move on because next to team incest is Gilly and Sam, which 
I guess Gilly was on Team Incest for a while, wasn't she? John Bradley is trying so hard to have Kit's gloomy, sexy look, and it's just not working. He just comes across as really scared and or freaked out. I am almost 100% sure the look he thinks he's giving versus what he is actually giving they're not the same thing. But aw, I do love Gilly's little smile. So many people look serious and worried, and she just has this, this little bit of smile going on. I guess even having your chances of being stabbed to death by a white at 99% this season, it's still better than being your daddy's baby maker. Brienne is the only character in this that feels really out of place, like they photoshopped her in this photo or did too much photoshop on her. She just does not blend like everyone else does. She looks really weird. Oh, and if you squint really hard, you'll see Tormund way in the back just eye-fucking the shit out of Brienne. It's amazing. Brienne is next to Sansa because she serves Lady Stark now, or I guess, another Lady Stark now. And man, does Sansa's armor look sexy. My god. I was really worried when Sophie said Sansa is now the warrior of Winterfell, but that outfit looks amazing. It looks great on her, is fabulous with her red wig, and shows so much of who her character is. She is still wearing outfits that make it harder to undress her, making sure it is harder for people to touch or disrobe her without her permission. She's wearing armor to protect herself against the coming threat, and that armor looks like the Tully scales her mother's side of the family were known for wearing. So kudos to the costume designers because they could not have done better with her outfit. I'm still really, really, really hoping we don't actually get Warrior Sansa this season. Just please don't let her wield a sword or anything, but just more mentally be a warrior and leading people. I strongly believe Sansa is one of the few characters that will make it to the end of the series, and she rules what is left of the North as Lady of Winterfell. Bran is clumped with his sister and looking a little less bleak in this photo. I know it is for a shoot, but he just doesn't look quite as cold in this picture. I'm hoping in the final season, Bran has gotten more control of his abilities, and he's becoming less of this. Lord of Winterfell. I can never be Lord of anything. And the three-eyed raven. And showing more of the emotions Blood Raven had because he wasn't as blank as Bran. I think once he deals with the mental overload of seeing all of time and having all these powers, more of him will come back. Not the same Bran, but more of the Bran we knew in the past. Though still going to love Bran and Sam tag teaming John with the he screwed his aunt knowledge. I really hope this happens in the first episode just as the Night King attacks Winterfell. John is all horrified going into battle while Danny just has a raging incest boner. Arya is next and still clutching the Valerian steel dagger. I am willing to bet the firstborn child of all my subscribers, it's too late, you've already been roped into this, that she kills at least one White Walker with that dagger. And it's going to be epic as fuck. Maisie said that Arya has some major kills in the final season some of her biggest kills yet. And while Sophie and Maisie are the biggest trolls in existence, I'm hoping she isn't referring to Arya killing Cersei, but Arya killing a White Walker. Also, also, I have so many hopes for the final season that are going to be absolutely crushed, just wait. But I want to see Sansa running down the halls of Winterfell trying to escape some whites when Arya comes to rescue her. I love the idea of Arya being Sansa's guardian despite Sansa already having Brienne, because let's be honest, Arya would be a way better protector. That bitch would kill Sansa's enemies before Brienne even knew they were there. Hey, before we move on, let's note that the Stark siblings are next to each other and Jon is over by Team Targaryen. I still believe wholeheartedly Jon is both a Stark and a Targaryen, he is his mother and father, and non-bio dad, of course. But I love that they put him on the Targaryen camp side. However, and I'm putting way too much symbolism into this, he is more towards the Starks than the other side of Team Targaryen. Okay, sorry. Just wanted to point that out because I love how they're setting up the Jon reveal to everyone else in the final season. Now let's take a look next to the Stark siblings. It's the bestest buddies in the entire world, Davos and Melisandre. We had leaks many, many months ago that Melisandre would be back in the final season and was shooting scenes. But I don't think anyone doubted she'd be back regardless. I have to die in this strange country. Just like you. She was even listed for the first episode of the final season, for God's sakes. 
It's nice to have her in this big photo regardless. Does it look like they lightened her hair up a bit? Remember how it was getting so dark as the seasons went on? Sometimes I couldn't tell if it was red or black. Maybe that was mostly because of the colors they put and took out of scenes where they were at the wall? Anyways, nice to see Melisandra and her best friend Davos next to each other. They both look very concerned, and I'm sure Davos has forgiven her for burning Sharon, Sarah, or whatever that girl's name was. Personally, I'm a bit shocked that Melisandre would come back in this form. I thought for sure she'd take on a different form or maybe just be in her true old person's form. This just seems like how you get shankety shanked 101. Still, maybe if she brings back reinforcements from Essos, more followers of Relor, she might not directly interact inside Winterfell. She might just show up for the battle with other priestesses. We'll see. And I know I got yelled at last time I said this, but I really still believe Davos dies this season because he is the best character and actor. I just love Davos and Liam. I feel he is a casualty of the Great War and we can't escape this. Okay, actually I lied. Remember how I said Brienne looks super out of place? What the fuck is going on with Sandor? Everyone else is looking concerned, but Sandor is ready to fuck someone up. I mean, so is Euron. What is with those two? Sandor looks really, really disturbed at whatever he's seen, while everyone else is a lot more chill. So I'd say he looks more out of place than Brienne. Euron is looking like show Euron, over the top and stupid. I can't wait for Theon to kill him this final season. Euron is standing close to Cersei, but not in a romantic way, which is kind of a letdown. I want to see them get married in the final season to secure his help. Maybe we can still get some wild Cersei Euron sex though. I have to imagine those two would either be insanely crazy in bed together or super duper boring. I'm hoping for the former. I know we already stole Cersei's outfit, but I still love it. Looks like this one and her black one, which was leaked, are her primary outfits for the final season. I prefer Cersei in black, but the Lannister red is nice. Part of me feels like she's wearing more red than Danny as a fuck you, I'll wear black, red, and gold to be Lannister colors and a bit of yours, but I'm sure she's just representing the lion. She of course still has on her Lannister necklace and her bitchin' shoulder pads. Cersei wants to be feminine and beautiful, but still show she has a lot of strength and she's just as good as any male ruler. A dress with armor, I feel like, is her way of doing that. Jamie has a beard, as we knew he would since his actor shared Jamie has a long trip to Winterfell. I like longer hair Jamie. I know his shorter haircut is perfectly acceptable for the time, but it always looks way too modern to me. I just hated it. Longer hair Jamie is where it's at. Now look at the fact Cersei is closer to touching Jamie than Euron. Jamie is helping Danny and John, but he is still loyal to his sister. I have no doubt he'll return to her at some point in the final season. Probably to die with her. Here's what surprises me and infuriates me about this photo. I'm over here with my tinfoil saying they are grouped by loyalties, and then we have the fucking on mountain Tyrion and Theon on Cersei's side. Why is the on mountain not right next to Cersei? I get they wanted him and probably just tacked him in on the end, but that guy should be Cersei's shadow. Tyrion, despite being a Lannister, should also be over on the left, but I guess I get them wanting to clump families? Though, why not put Theon next to Euron then? You messed up the entire flow, goddammit. You know what? You're not destroying my tinfoil. You know why Tyrion is over by Cersei and Jaime? It isn't because he's a Lannister and they were trying to group them by family. It's because those people with that super stupid theory were right. Tyrion will betray Danny in the final season. I don't know, he obviously still cares for his family and maybe that will make him not do what is best for Danny. And if I want to go extra tinfoil, maybe Theon is next to On Mountain because they are both just dead inside. Okay, so that's my pretty much a psychotic look into one photo for the final season of Game of Thrones. Like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below, how do you think Tormon is going to propose to Brienne this season?